Gandhi's modelling career has been a hit and miss affair. It started off in the 80s thanks to his extraordinary resemblance to Top Gun heartthrob Val Kilmer. Here the blonde bombshell is posing with his cousin Gary, another slave to fashion. We find him sporting the brand new Wildlands camouflage pattern from British clothing company Jack Pike. The pattern has been developed and produced by their in-house design and technology team. It looks like an obvious choice for wildfowlers, but Andy will soon have a chance to play with it out on the stubbles. Jack Pike hasn't just been busy making new patterns, they've been making special bespoke baby outfits. As Andy has just become a grandfather, grandson Regan is getting Jack Piked up. The old Jack Pike boys have pushed the boat out today. They've, uh Got me a couple of nice baby grows for little Regan. Put a bit of a lump to my throat. He will look so cute in them. Love it. That's enough about clothing. We're here to see Andy, the Jack Pike boys, and a few ne'er do wells from the shooting industry compete in the Jack Pike English Open at the Sporting Targets Ground in Bedfordshire. It's a 120 bird day with more than 500 competitors. It's grown year on year and there are some very taxing stands. This airborne rabbit is causing a lot of problems. Just get on it quick, just snatch into it and just go straight at it. No, it's alright, I'll start straight at it. Sporting shooter editor Dom Holtam is here for a quick blast before heading back to the office. It's great, the, the Jack Pike boys are always good fun, there's plenty of banter um, and they, they take the mickey out of Andy which is always always amusing to watch. Um, but there, there is definitely a serious note, Andy and Gavin have good shots, he's pretty good. So there, there's, you know, behind, behind the smiles there's a bit of a steal as well. It's obviously a big competition, it's designed to sort the very best shots in the country out. Um, you know, if, if I shoot 50% then I'm normally pretty pleased. Uh, but uh, anything, as long as I beat Westbrook, that's all I care about. Dom gets his hands on lots of different guns, but today he's got a Browning on test. This is the, the new revised 525. So this is the, you know, their entry level gun, value quality wise. Absolutely brilliant. It's the one we tried the other week at Coley's on their, on their press day. It's only the second time I shot it, so I'm probably not doing it justice, but as a, as a value for money proposition. Uh, in terms of the, the qualities, the engineering and everything else. It's an entry level one, so you don't get the fancy wood, you don't get all the fancy engravings, but you know, that would be wasted on me anyway. Not only is Sporting Targets offering the 120 bird a day, there's also the High Tower 50 bird challenge. This is not for the faint-hearted. Don't worry, Keith hasn't fainted. He's getting a better look at the targets going overhead. It's an extreme layout and it tests everyone. Because the shooter has full 360 degree movement, there are certain stands where it's best to watch from below. There is a lot of head shaking, but it's a fantastic experience. It has been straighted in the past, but only twice. High tail stuff what we're well known for um, with that challenge there. It's, it's extreme target, so um, anyone shooting 45 plus out of um, 50 is, is quite good on that. Yourself? Uh, I've done a 48 once, so I'm not quite happy with that. Don't know whether I'll ever do it again. But. It's a layout Sporting Targets is famous for and is an extra challenge for our guns today. After 170 targets, Crow is a bit wiped out, but it's an event he really enjoys. Some of them targets are way, way out, out of my league, really. Um, the thing is, uh, against the open sky, you've got nothing to judge distance on. Caught me out the day, I got a bit tired by the time we got to there. Now I'm a granddad, I've got I can make up excuses, I'm getting tired, so, so that's, that's where we went on today. Well, that's my excuse today anyway, but no, it's been a great day. And I usually only do about three or four close shoots a year, and this happens to be one of them. I enjoy it, but yeah, so I don't do much clay shooting, not like I used to. Just tell me a little bit about the, the photographs that we've, we've witnessed today. Yeah, that's when I was a hillbilly. That was that was back in my younger days when I first started. Cartridges in my jean pocket and away you go. But then I realised it was getting a bit too expensive when our kids come along, so I'd give the job up. No, I always fall back on a bit of clay shooting through the winter months. If there's nothing to shoot, that's just for something to do really, keep me eye in. For more information about Jack Pike clothing, go to jackpike.co.uk.